Do professional sports bettors always win? A lot of people always wonder and they always see people posting, they win all the time, they never lose and stuff like that. Well, I'm here to tell you the real truth behind that. In the real world, it's just not true. A professional sports better could go a week, a whole entire month and not turn a profit. That is real sports betting. Now, the reasoning behind that is because it's volatile, guys. There will be a string of where you don't profit. That is where you separate the men from the boys. Trust me, it happens because it's happened to me to where I've had months where I wasn't profitable, where I would end up losing. But the thing is, is you have to realize that that's the game that you got involved in. If you want to be a professional sports better, you have to have emotional control over your brain to where you can shut off, ensure that you don't go crazy. Because just think about this. Imagine you go to your normal job you're doing it all month long every day and then after the whole month you don't get paid <laughs> you think like who would do that right that's insane well that is what happens so so few people can actually go through that type of emotional damage because it's tough but then there's months where you make double or triple what you would make in a normal month so over the long term it evens out you're able to really zone in and control your emotions and see that not every day is going to be great but it's all about will i make enough money long term and so many people think that it's not possible because when you literally don't have the emotional control over yourself to be able to lose one day you will never be able to take a whole week or a whole month of losing so it's nearly impossible for 99 percent of the people out there because they will give up within a week they have a couple of bad days don't want to ever bet on sports ever again you have to be able to realize that i'm not going to win every day but it's just about getting to that point now being able to get to that point takes a lot of time takes a lot of effort takes a lot of of being able to track stuff to see what works and what doesn't. Trust me, I know guys, I've been doing this for 10 plus years. It is a job, it's very, very hard to do. And the emotion that comes over you is really what dictates if you're able to continuously do this or not. And here's another thing that I wanna dabble in as well. Over social media, you'll see people with the Lambos, people with uh, $500,000 tickets, they're flashing all their stacks of money that they're winning and all this stuff and everything like that. Those guys, you might think, are professional sports betters, but they're not. Not. The reason why is because when you win, you can't bet anymore. If you're winning consistently quarter millions of dollars, a half a million, a million dollar bet, they're not going to take your bets anymore. So it just shows for somebody that's an actual sports better, you know that the people that are showing that stuff are continuously actually donating because those sports books would not accept those bets. I know multiple guys that are professionals, including myself, that has been cut off, not even betting anywhere near those type of numbers. And we've been banned. We've been limited so I know for a fact but getting back to what I was saying though you need to understand that you're not gonna win all the time you're gonna lose it's part of the game once you understand how to lose then you can take your sports betting to the next level then you can jump above that 99% that can't handle losing because these are the similarities professional sports betting is similar to owning a business because when you own a business your paycheck is not guaranteed maybe you won't make any money in a week in your business it's the same stuff but that is what it's all about. It's being able to break through that. Once you break through that, it's like breaking through the matrix of the guaranteed paycheck and everything. You're just basing everything off of how much you hustle. So when you understand that your paycheck relies on yourself, then you start taking yourself to a next level, your mind to a next level. Because when you are able to realize that now my paycheck depends on what I'm doing, and if I don't produce and I'm not doing the right things, I'm not getting paid, then you know what it takes and it takes you to a different dimension. So where you're like you feel pressure like you've never felt before but that's good pressure because it could zone you in so becoming a professional sports better is not everything it always pans out to be all the flashy stuff that a lot of people see but that's why i'm here to tell you this stuff all right i'm here to educate you guys so that way you guys know that when it comes to sports betting you can be a professional you can take your sports betting to the next level but you have to understand that losing is part of it as long as over the long run you can hit those certain percentages that you need to hit and i'm not even going to say the actual percentage because there's a gray area of that. It depends on the
type of odds that you bet. And if you bet odds that are all over the board, well, you need to hit 60 to 70%. If you're just trying to bet minus 110s, then yeah, you only need to hit about 57, 58%. But guess what? You are probably never going to be able to hit those percentages over the long term. So guess what? When it comes to the world of professional sports betting, don't always believe everything that you guys hear out there. You need to believe the truth. And what the truth is, is what I tell you guys. You want to know why? I've been here for years teaching you guys this stuff. I would not still be around if nothing that I said wasn't true and the stuff that I did didn't work. So make sure you guys do your due diligence on your end as well. And always understand that to be a professional sports better, you need to take your mind to a different level. Also, you need to be able to realize that it's okay to lose. But guess what? As long as we push through and we got the right strategy in place, we're always going to come out on top. Now, if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure you guys go and smash that like button. Also, make sure you guys subscribe.